This video explains how to add viscos to a ggplot2 box plot using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create an example data frame, as you can see in lines two to four of the code. So in these lines of code, I'm creating a new data frame, which is called data. And we can print the first six rows of this data frame using the head function, as you can see in line five of the code. And after running this line of code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our example data frame contains two columns, whereby the first column contains random values and the second column is a group indicator. Now, if we want to draw our data using the ggplot2 package, we also need to install and load the package, as you can see in lines seven and eight of the code. I have installed the package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line eight of the code. And after running this line of code, we can use the functions of the ggplot2 package to create a ggplot2 box plot, as you can see in lines 10 and 11 of the code. So in these lines of code, I'm using the ggplot and the geom boxplot functions to create a boxplot based on our data frame, which is called data. So if you run lines 10 and 11 of the code, you can see at the bottom right of RStudio that a new boxplot is appearing. However, you can also see that this boxplot does not contain viscos yet. So if we want to add viscos to this boxplot, we need to apply the stat boxplot function, as you can see in lines 13 to 15 of the code. So line 13 and line 15 of the code are basically the same as lines 10 and 11. However, this time we are also adding the stat boxplot function to our plot. And within this function, I'm specifying the geom argument to be equal to the character string error bar. So if you run lines 13 to 15 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our plot is updated because this time the plot also contains viscous. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.